This is Jordan Town with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. So Vibes Cartel, Jamaica dance hall legend, okay? He has been in jail for the past 10 years, uh, even longer than that, really, because uh, he was in trial, I think, from 2011 to 2014. One of the longest trials in Jamaica's history. And even towards the end of the trial, they were supposed to declare a mistrial because they were suspecting one of the jurors from taking bribes or giving bribes to other jurors. But they still went forward with the case. All three men were found guilty of murdering a guy named Lizard. And supposedly the story is this guy took Vibes Cartel's gun said he didn't and then uh, lost it. So Vibes Cartel supposedly killed him and fed him to the sharks and they never found a body. Anyways, this went all the way, this was appealed all the way to uh, like a Supreme type of court in England because that's where they do their higher courts. They do them in, you know, the UK, wherever it is, you know. So they won the appeal. England, they won the appeal, and uh, that's major. Okay, now, now he's found, in a sense, not guilty, but he's still in jail. And the prince, Prince, uh, was Prince Charles, right? He quashed it. When they quash it, Jamaica has to pay all the attorney fees for Vibes Cartel and the three other men. Is it two other men? Is three other men or two other men? But anyways, then Jamaica has to decide, are they going to let him go or are they going to retry them with new evidence and everything? We'll see. But the quash thing is big. That means they went to the higher, you know, the prince. I think, well, it's King, King, uh, King Charles now. And he quashed it. That's major. So we'll see what happens with Ives Cartel. Boosie says, it's crazy how every company is going broke and filing for bankruptcy. This world has no money. The United States of America is hurting people. People have no money besides paying your bills. Um, He's right. People are hurting out here. And if Boosie sees that, someone who doesn't really see a lot, you know, like he's really focused on himself most of the time. That says a lot, man. Then we got Benzino and 50 Cent. Benzino has an obsession with 50 Cent. I think he's attracted to him, maybe. But ever since he called out Benzino for being in a red roof end with one bed and two men, Benzino's wanted to fight him. And he wants to, he thinks he can win the fight. He didn't seem so confident that we in the Miami podcast, but we'll see. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the morning. Peace.